What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Out of the Heroes, and today we are on the evil meme team. No, not quite yet to build Eloise. I know, weird name for this game. Eloise just feels like it's, it just doesn't fit, but what we are going to do is we're finally going to push and try to get to Explorer in Void Vortex. Uh, we've never really pushed on this account whatsoever. We are at like, I think we're in Pioneer. Yeah, we're in Pioneer. So I want to at least get to explore. That's a lot of missed resources from every single smash. And honestly, the first thing that we need to do is we need to build an Ignis. That's going to be number one priority. Do we have any puppets? We do. That That's a nice thing to have right there. There we go. Gimme. All right. Let's see if we actually pull a lucky Ignis copy here. King Barton, wrong account. If only I had that on a different one, that would have been cool. Get all these guys out of here for food. We are also going to be grabbing the nine star puppet because what we're going to be doing is making this Ignis right here up to 10 star. Pretty much you need a 10 star for anything you're about to do here. Let's unlock these hero copies and let's get building. So first off, we need to make a six star. We've got tons of food, so that should not be a problem at all. We need one more destroyer you are the sacrificial lamb there we go perfect okay let's get her leveled up now really and since she's just like a suicide i'm pretty sure we're just gonna leave her at level 100 like that's it she just needs to get well you know what i think you do need a certain speed to outspeed the enemies so that's what we're gonna test today as well we finally finished leveling up our fox monster as well so there's a lot of as wells we need to do. <laughs> we need to figure out if she needs a specific speed to be able to go before the enemy team. Because of course we want to get her with an active, I believe in round one, just to stack up more energy. All right. So one, two, three, four. Looks good. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. My bad. There we go. Uh, not Dant Monster. Who can we feed? Do we have any more food heroes? Not really. Margaret, you are the loser. Let's feed off right there. Get her up to eight star. Looking good. Wait, didn't... Didn't I have two more copies? Am I... Am I losing my mind here? Didn't I have two more copies somewhere? Wait, 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 wait. What's happening here? I thought... Oh, I didn't actually summon them, huh? I guess I probably didn't have bag space. I bet that was a problem. I'm like, wait a minute, Barry, what are you doing? Something does not seem right here. Oh, we actually already had a puppet. Okay, we got enough for maybe another Ignis down the road. Speaking of, hold on, wait a minute. Could we build a second one right now? Maybe we got one, two, three, four. Oh man, we could. How old are these chests? Oh man, even that one can. This one definitely can, right? Yeah. We could build two Ignis. First off, let's do a couple of these cores real quick. We're gonna swap over to Ignis right here. Maybe we high roll a sphere or a copy or something like that. I really hope we can get to 5 million stellar by the time Jara comes out because I really want Jara on this account as our first transcendence. So no hero copy there. Oh yeah, we got tons of fusions going on still, huh? All right, um, <laughs> do we build a second one? What is our team gonna be? We're gonna use three ticks, of course. We're gonna use an Ignis, that's number four. Technically, we have room. I think we might just build a second suicide Ignis. We got the food for it, maybe. Let's first check that out. So even if we scrap most of these heroes, we should have what we need. Yeah, definitely. Especially since we can do some fusions as well. Let's get some of these guys made right here. Some Immolatus. And the heroes look... Some of the heroes look different. Others look almost identical. I guess I haven't done like any fusions for the month. Is that true? That is true. I have not done any fusions for the month. So... We need five more and we need some food. So let's first build up some food heroes to make sure we actually do have what we need. At this point, it's the evil meme team. I'm not really caring who I use as food overall. 
We'll let King Barton stay just because, you know, it's King Barton. He's our man. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Let's start grabbing out more Ignis copies. We got one copy there. Nope, not there. Um, grab a second one here. We'll try to leave the ones that have more options in it. Like that one goes all the way up to Marax. What is it? This one probably does too. Nope, not quite as far. We'll try to save the ones that go further. And these seem to be the winners. What is this one? Is this just a regular chest too? Yep. So we'll grab the five of them out of there. Five more Ignis copies. Perfect. And I think this is going to be better. Well, hold on. First off, we don't have the food to make an E5. So, you know, I think for the we can always regress. Like, we definitely can regress this hero pretty easily. Let's feed off those, get that done, and let's build up the second. I think this is the best option. I think. We'll see, I guess. But at least this allows a round two for them to have more, um, more actives. Essentially, even if they don't die. Well, even if they die, they're going to use their active. And then they're also going to be dying and giving energy. So it's going to be extra skill damage for round two. The problem is our big splendid Punisher ticks is not going to have energy in round one. That's going to be the one big downfall. We're going to take and put... We're going to put our Stellars, I think, all into one hero right here. It's going to be a decision. We're going to have to work through this and see what we're going to do. Berea, have a good one. Bye-bye. Man, I keep clicking that way too fast. I keep hitting the escape button before I need to. We'll hold on to Scary because Scary is very scary. <laughs> all right, let's get the Ignis built up to eight star. Let's get the first copy there. Another six star, another two food. Karim, goodbye. All right, and number two, we got two 10 stars. Again, because they're going to be slower than the ticks, feels pretty bad. Because even if we power level them up, I believe their speed at 10 star max level is 1168. And our ticks are going to be running way higher. There's like no way we can slow them down. So we have two Ignis, we have three ticks. We'll probably use an energy carry as well. The question is how we run these heroes. So of course we're gonna need that right there. We're gonna take energy off of you and I think we're gonna make you the super overpowered ticks right here. Do we have regular six star? We do, perfect. We're gonna run that on the strong one here. Probably want crit, ooh. Let's run it like that. And I know technically we should probably go for like a crit crit attack stone, but we'll just we'll keep it as is for now. Do these guys here. That looks good. Imprints were basically V3. I don't know if it's really worth going V3 plus. I'm gonna leave the other one as is. Although, of course, we're gonna change to that and change over to that there. The last one, we're gonna do the same thing. If you guys wonder why I exit, it's just faster. Well, faster if I didn't mess up the skill. <laughs> uh, and then you are going to have a Demon Bell as well. We're going to run two of Demon Bells, so they have round one actives. They're not going to do a ton of damage, but then the last round is going to do a ton. Now, we do have Stellar to get to V2. The problem is, again, food. We're not quite ready for it for the time being. We're gonna leave it as is. These girls here, they're just gonna get some gear with energy as well. Let's upgrade these artifacts. We got tons of resources, no problem whatsoever leveling these up. All right, let's feed off all of our yellows because that's gonna be more than enough. Let's do another round of yellows. Good, good, good. And one more level should get it with the dust. Perfect. All right. One of them's done. We'll unlock the stone. Stone doesn't really matter for us. And then Ignis number two, we're going to do the same thing. Let's throw another magic source on her and let's get that one upgraded. Um, going to start feeding off some greens and some reds. I really hate how like the list resets every time you go down the list. It's so annoying. It's frustrating. Uh, we'll keep mirror chains just in case, I guess. I don't know why, but that's what we're going to do. 
<laughs> is what we're gonna do nonetheless we can do a level with this stuff we need two more to go i guess we're gonna have to feed off how much do these give not much not much at all but what we'll do is we'll throw those in and then throw something in like that that we don't really care about and almost enough dust so we'll throw one more orange artifact in and we're done okay i think that's pretty set we got some fusions done as well which was nice all right vortex time let's see if we can do anything here whatsoever i imagine this team is going to do pretty good but overall where are we going to put these two we're going to go with the fox as our pet I imagine what we need to do is something like this. Is the this front one's going to do a basic round one. I guess we could feed extra energy into that one or we could feed energy into round two actives. Let's just see how this works to start off. Let's see if we're even in the ballpark. So we get one active there and then of course the Ignis are going to feed both those other ticks with energy that way we technically have three actives coming in this round. Of course energy drain does mess with that but i have a feeling we haven't done this in quite a while this is probably going to go pretty smooth for us fingers crossed i'd love to just get to explore and if anything this account has a better chance to push than my main account i feel like even though the main account has like five four v4 possibles yeah uh, that's a lot of stuns coming out here and only one ticks got loose oh geez Man, the uh, the Ignis are kind of tanky here. <laughs> They're kind of tanky. I wonder if we should instead just run them with no gear as well. Let's just remove the gear and throw energy. Remove the gear, throw energy, just so that there is a chance that they actually die. But again, we might just be really overpowering the power level we're in right here. We might... We might have been supposedly supposed, to, I don't know what I'm saying. We should be in like explore with a team like this is what I'm trying to say here. So big ticks actives there. Yeah, I mean, I think we're good. There's a lot of CC coming out here. A lot of CC, but most of these should be easy. I think we've actually beaten these waves before. So what we might do is just see what we can skip past and see if we can get towards the later planets. Yeah, it does look like we've beaten the first couple levels pretty easily. Uh, Pioneer 4 is going to be a tough one for us. 1 is definitely going to be a tough one. Uh, is, this, is this where we already start losing? Let's see. Let's see what we can actually clear just right off the gate without doing anything to change the team. Okay, double carry, double Garuda. Yeah, that sounds very difficult. This one seems doable. I do think we might need Shadow, though. So let's go in with that, see what happens here. The carries are going to be very difficult, I think, to deal with. All right, we got actives there. And even if the Ignis die in round one, that's still feeding extra energy to the two ticks that are going to, of course, get converted into more skill damage. Yeah, it makes a big difference when you have that protection. Definitely makes a difference. All right, now this planet, I really don't want to have to reset. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Let's actually speed some of these fights up to three times. There's a chance. I mean, we do have a carry, so that does mean we kind of have a team that's protected. Round two, not bad. All three ticks still alive. That's good. They all got basics coming in. Actually, no, we came out with an active. This could be really good. This might be exactly what we needed to happen. We have an active from our carry, which is perfect. And victory. Didn't even need the core protection. Yeah, there we go. Nice. More stellar shards along the way. And then, of course, yeah, more protection signets. Okay, now this here, I think, is where it comes into the territory of us not... Oh, actually, we've beaten these levels before. So let's see which ones we can just smash through. It might be quite a few of these as well. Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah, I think a lot of these we're going to need the protection now. And sadly, we don't have Shadow on, like, any of these planets. So let's get it going. Hopefully, we can high roll. Perfect. Because we don't have that many protections. And we really need that if we're going to push for Explore. Granted, we can come back to this tomorrow, I believe. Or no, maybe it closes tonight. I need to check. 
because we don't really have gems on this account to throw around, but we will buy extra attempts if it means we have to reset teams or something like that. Um, okay, not not the best scenario. We really need this backline ticks to get an active off. Or actually, ooh, we got two actives coming. Come on, big damage. Oh, that was not good. That was not good whatsoever. All right, let's run back into it. Let's get going. We got this. The fox kind of helps. It's kind of like an energy funnel. It's a worse version of demon bells. <laughs> oh, no, they hit our good ticks. That's not good. Our powerful ticks has been gimped. And plus that energy drain from the carry round one felt really bad. We got some actives going off here. I don't know if we're going to make it to another round. Do we make it? Yes, we do. We got actives coming out. Is it enough though? Or is that Garuda just going to shred us? No, not yet. Carry's just dodging everything. So that's probably going to kill our team off. We have two very weak ticks is left. I don't know if it's enough. We can't even kill that Ignis right there. Uh, luckily, we got the Tix Ghost, though, which is really good for us. Oh, man. If we can last one more round. Come on. Just last the round. Yes. Okay. I think there's a chance. There's a chance. We got a carry coming back. Oh, we got to kill this Ignis off. It just keeps healing indefinitely. And eventually, that carry is just going to kill us. Why is there no mark on this Ignis? Good Lord. Ah. Uh. This carry is so frustratingly annoying. I don't know if we can do this. We might just lose. These are like the two ticks with Demon Bell, so they don't have like a big punch to their attacks. Down to two. There is a Tick's Ghost now, but sadly we needed that to land on the Ignis somehow. Hey, maybe there's a way we win this, but it's going to have to be after we kill the carry, and then we essentially just assault this Ignis here. Big active, yes, oh my god, round 22. Good lord, all right, we got that one cleared out. This one shouldn't be too hard, but again, we're gonna have to use our protection. Oh no, it feels so bad when you have to unlock everything just to get the one faction you need. This one shouldn't be difficult though. I don't see it being very difficult. Oh no, that front line. Somebody hit the front line, oh thank goodness. We got three actives. Clears a lot of them out. Uh, we got a little bit of energy over here for another active. That's good. Ooh, that Aspen is dangerous. Yeah, just basically coming down to those other two ticks every single time, it seems like. Really, those ticks ghosts play a big part. So maybe going V3 plus would be better on the one super powerful one. Uh, can we do either of these? We might be able to do this one without protection on our shadow faction. Got two Horrifies, that's really good for round one CC. Uh, okay, only one of them got hit with Taunt. That's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. This is not looking too good, though. We got energy, so we'll get oh, almost an active. What a tease. Hopefully, we live to another round, but Aspen is silenced. That's good. All right, big damage right here. Knock them all out. Oh, no. Aspen's going to hit us hard. Oh, wow, our Tixes are still alive. I don't know how that's the thing. They're all going to die, though, right? Oh, but the one powerful Tix. No, we lost him. The last second. All those ghosts just went boom. <laughs> all right, now this one we are most definitely going to need protection on Shadow. Okay, good. We at least saved one protection signet right there. Let's see what we can do. And maybe down the line, we will build one or two E5 Ignis just so we can have them faster and use energy into the, the main ticks, the big damage dealer ticks we got on our team. Because a round one active from him followed it with a round two active is such a difference from what you guys are seeing right here. One ticks down. Oh, good Lord. We just have the weak one. But the Garuda has both of those ticks go. So I think there's a chance as long as we don't die right here. It's a lot of damage. Perfect. Okay, just the carry. We're going to get a second carry, though. That's not good. Energy drain. Okay, no, 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 no. Stop Stop hitting the back ticks. No! Oh, man. So close. We can do it. We got this. 
we might have to come back for a second video to get pioneer three plus although technically i i think what we really need to do is just farm up the food so we have an e5 ignis on this account because at least one of them would then provide energy to the we can put the e5 ignis in slot one and feed the super powered ticks might be a better option we are looking much healthier this time around though we're gonna get a couple actives off as well good 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 that active is gonna hurt but doesn't kill anybody well kills the ignis we don't really care about that because that just means a stronger ticks active all right can we do this with the active right here come on just please kill the garuda off get this garuda down do not let her live. Yes, okay. Now double carries. With this many ticks, we shouldn't have a problem because they're going to start doing next to no damage because they're going to have so many attack reductions on them. They're just not doing a thing. Granted, the front slot somehow is just stunned by the awesome, cool PvP of Nables, of whatever you want to call it, of the Vortex. It's stupid. All right, so four is difficult. Three is typically much easier. We'll see if we can just smash through some any of these right here. They are a little more difficult, though. These are not great lineups for us. That one should be a win. No, not even that one. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. This one we should be able to win. No, we can't win with this without using protection signets. Interesting. The full-on PvE lineup right here, and we can't win? Like, seriously? Although that Sigmund, that Sigmund and that Bell Rain should just be, like, a Drake... And a Rogan or another Delacium. <laughs> uh, so much CC. Artificial CC thrown into the battles, which is so fun. Fun and interactive. Uh, it's just me being a little salty. I think we win this one. There's a lot of Horrifies out. We got actives coming from the main ticks. Yeah, we got this. Unless I was like, unless we just get blown up right here or something. All right, that one is done. That was a little difficult. Double carry, again, don't like it. Double carry Garuda. Um, let's see. We got a lot of very similar waves here. I think what we are going to do is use some protection. Come on. There we go. Let's see. I think we might run out of protection signets on this run. So we might have to do it next week. And we might just save up a bunch of gems that we can dump into this for attempts and re-rolling teams. Big actives, come on. Big actives, almost got that Garuda. Close. Oh, we lost the ticks. No. Purify that Horrify. No. No, this is going so poorly. <laughs> this is going so poorly. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe somehow we can get this to work. Big active, not big enough. Oh, no, the pings. Uh-oh. This is so close. Kill her. Killer! No! <laughs> oh, so close. We can do this one, though. This one we definitely have with enough attempts, I believe. It's just near impossible to kill a Garuda in round one, I swear. They're so tanky in the Vortex. Near impossible. Uh, that's, that, that, that's not good. We only get one active, but we took out the Garuda. Now, granted, there's an Aspen with an active. Didn't look like we really cared, though. That was pretty solid. Somehow one of our Ignis is still alive. Don't ask me how, but it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't let me lose this. Come on, Carrie. Oh, no. Oh, I hate Vortex so, so much. This stupid stuff, Twine Anomaly, weakened to healing, weakened all damage. That's why, oh, weakened, that's why we're having so much trouble. This one is a weakened all damage. Ugh. So stupid. If you use a protection signet, it should just make it zero. Not 8%. Just, just zero. Just zero it out. That's all you got to do. Oh, my God. That was horrible. Carry hit every single one of us. Our problem is I think that we're giving that frontline carry an act of this every round. There's a nice energy bug there, I think. I believe she has an active. No? Oh, I guess she dodged, and I wasn't paying attention to the dodge. I was just looking at the actual attack. Interesting. Not a great round. Garuda, please just pick off the Ignis. Just kill like the Ignis, Garuda. Uh, not great again. 
Oh, Aspen has an active. He's going to wreck us, isn't he? He's going to demolish us right here. Uh, we live somehow. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. And even if one of the ticks die here, I mean, yeah, we're good. Wow. Crazy damage. We have two more attacks left. Did double carry, double carry, single carry. I think we go for this one, especially since we already have shadow protection. Maybe we can do good here. I got energy drain on the carry, which is perfect. Even if she gets maxed out right here, we will be in a good situation where she oh, really, really, you hit the one ticks that we care about. The one hero we really care about having energy on and carry hits that one. Good Lord. Let's see what he can do around three though. Got two actives. We could still pull this through. yeah i don't think so uh, i don't think so <laughs> all right last attack for right now we'll see can maybe we get lucky just don't carry just don't snipe right here just don't don't snipe the ticks just don't do it know your roll okay good you hit the carry that's literally like the best option you could have hit uh all three ticks are gonna have actives coming up here boom and clean them out not quite Oh god, I'm I'm out of control with the speeds. Okay, that was decent. Ooh, that, that was pretty good. We just have the Garuda and she has the curse. Okay. I think we win this. No actives coming. We just lower her attack so it's doing next to nothing. Oh no, that was bad. But we have the really strong ticks. Just don't die. Oh, come on. That would have been perfect to end on that. So yeah, we have one more day. We'll get more energy. Maybe we'll spend some gems, but we're only on Pioneer 3. Not sure. Not sure what we can do. We already have people, Fish Bunny, all the way up into Explore 4. Good Lord. We'll keep trying. We'll see what we can do with this account, but I think an E5 Ignis would be infinitely better just having her faster than our main ticks and then also taking all the Void Imprints and dumping them into this ticks as well would be a lot better can't quite v4 but we're very very close actually you know what? we probably could v4 right now maybe that's what we'll do next time maybe that was a big mistake by me we'll have to see so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let me know what you guys think are you enjoying the vortex you know i kind of don't but maybe you guys do and i'll see you guys next time